hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute panda so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two kinds of yarn the white yarn and the black yarn or gray yarn any color that you want and two safety eyes and also I used a crochet hook which is 3.5 millimeters this is my favorite kind of uh, hook it's I mean it's a, my favorite size I always use this one okay and that's what you're gonna need so let's get started okay so we're going to start to the head and we're going to start first to the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochet into the magic ring so we do single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then I'm going to pull my yarn and I'll put my marker over here uh, in our second row we're going to start by doing three single crochets first in the same uh, stitch okay so we'll do single crochet one and then in the same stitch do single crochet two and then again in the same stitch do the third single crochet okay and then after that we we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches so we we'll do single crochet one and then do single crochet in the next stitch okay and then after that uh, in the next stitch we'll do three single crochets in the same stitch so we we'll do single crochet one and then again in the same stitch you do another single crochet and in the same stitch do the third single crochet okay and then in the remaining two stitches we'll do single crochet in each stitch so we do single crochet and then single crochet okay so we have a total of 10 stitches in the second row okay so now in our third row we're going to start by doing single crochet in the next stitch so we do single crochet and then uh, next we're going to increase two times in the next two stitches so we're going to increase in the first stitch and then increase also in the other stitch okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches so we do single crochet one then single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet also in the next stitch okay and then after that we're going to increase again in the next two stitches so we're going to increase in the first stitch and also increase in the next stitch Okay, and then after that in the remaining two stitches you do single crochet in each stitch okay so after that uh, in our fourth row we're going to start by doing single crochet in the next two stitches so we do single crochet one and then single crochet in the next stitch and then after that we're going to increase in the next two stitches so you're going to increase one time and increase in the next stitch okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches so we do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet Four, and single crochet five and then after that we're going to increase in the next two stitches so I'm going to increase and then increase in the next stitch 
okay and then in the remaining three stitches we'll do single crochet in each stitch so we do single crochet one single crochet two and single crochet three okay so now we have a total of 18 stitches so after that I'm going to change to the white yarn okay so I'm just going to use my scissors and cut the yarn then I'm going to change to the white color okay and then I have to make sure the knot goes on the inside so like that okay and then now after that uh, in our next row we're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet then continue doing single crochet single crochet okay so do single crochet all the way around okay so after you're done with the fifth row now in our sixth row we're going to start by doing six single crochets first so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then after that um we're going to increase in the next six stitches so we're going to increase the first time and then increase again the second time and then increase the third time okay increase in the next stitch two Okay, then increase again in the fifth stitch and increase in the sixth stitch okay so after that you have six stitches remaining so you'll do six uh, single crochet in the remaining six stitches all the way and then we'll have a total of 24 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh, in our seventh row We'll start by doing single crochet in the next six stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six okay and then uh, in the next pattern we're going to do single crochet increase and then repeat that six times okay so we're going to do single crochet and then increase so that's the first set and then we're going to repeat that again single crochet and increase okay so that's the second time okay and then you're going to repeat that again four more times so you're going to do single crochet increase single crochet increase four more times Okay, so after you're done with that, in the remaining six stitches, you're going to do single crochet all the way. So we have a total of 30 stitches. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, okay, so all the way until the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our eighth row, we're going to do four single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one two three four and increase and then you're going to keep repeating that so four single crochet one two three four and increase okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh, in our ninth row we're going to do five single crochet then increase 
and repeat all the way around for a total of 42 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and then increase in the next stitch and then you're going to keep repeating that so five single crochet one two three four five and increase okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so after that uh, in our tenth row we're going to do a uh, six single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 48 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to keep repeating that so six single crochet so one two three four five six and increase in the next stitch okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh in the next seven rows which is from row 11 until row 17 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 48 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the seven rows so that we start the 18th row together. Okay, so after we're done with the 17th row, this is how it should look like. Okay, so this is the front side and this is the back side. So now from our 18th row, we're going to start decreasing. Okay, and in this row, we're going to do six single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 42 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then after that we're going to decrease okay so we're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch and pull through and then the back loop of the next stitch and pull through and then we have three loops on our hook so we're going to pull through all the three together okay and then we're going to keep repeating that so six single crochet so one two three four five Six, and then decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so after that uh, in our 19th row we're going to do five single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and then decrease okay so decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that so five single crochet three four Five and decrease okay so keep repeating that all the way round okay so after that uh, in our 20th row 
we are going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then decrease okay and then you're going to keep repeating that all the way around so you're going to do four single crochet decrease four single crochet decrease all the way round okay so after that uh, in our 21st row we're going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two three then decrease And then we're going to keep repeating that so three single crochet and then decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so now after we're done with that so you're going to start stuffing your doll because we are almost finished we have uh, uh, three more rows to go okay so now in our 22nd row we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease Okay, and then you're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and decrease okay so you're going to repeat that all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh, in our 23rd row we're going to do single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease in the next two stitches then you're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and decrease okay so repeat that all the way round so after that uh, you're going to start fully because now the next row is our last row okay so in the last row we're going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches okay so we're going to decrease and then we're going to keep repeating until the end so decrease Okay, and then we're going to keep repeating that so we're going to decrease all the way around until the end okay so we're going to decrease again so it's a little bit tight that's why it's a little bit hard to get the stitches okay and then we have two more decrease decrease and the last one okay so after that I'm going to cut my yarn like that and then I'm going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch first Okay, so it's a lip stitch. Okay, and then after that, I'll make sure there's no gap left over here. So I'm going to continue in the next stitch and keep pulling my yarn through 
until the the gap or the little hole is closed completely and then I'm going to pull it one more time there okay and then after that I'm going to go anywhere in the head and then I'm going to pull that yarn through all the way okay and then I'm going to cut it completely to make it neat okay and as you can see that's how you see the finishing uh, looks neat over here okay and that's how it's supposed to look like so after that we are going to start making the body okay so for the body we are going to start with the magic ring as usual and then six single crochet into the magic ring in the first row so I already did that okay so now in our second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches in the second row so I'm going to go in the next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch okay and then I'm going to continue repeating that so increase in the next stitch two okay so again so continue increasing Okay, so you're going to continue increasing all the way round. Okay, so after that, uh, in our third row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 18 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, then increase. And then we're going to keep repeating that. So single crochet, increase. okay so repeat that all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh in our fourth row we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two then increase And then keep repeating that so two single crochet and then increase okay so keep repeating that all the way round okay, so after that uh, in our fifth row we're going to do three single crochet increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three and then increase okay and then you're going to keep repeating that so three single crochet increase all the way round okay so after that uh, in our sixth row we're going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches okay so we're going to do I mean for a total of 36 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then increase Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that so for a single crochet increase all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next four rows which is from row 7 until row 10 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 36 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the 10th row so that we start the 11th row together Okay, so after that, uh, in our 11th row, after you're done with the 10th row, this is how it should look like. So in our 11th row, we're going to do four single crochet and then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, 
four and then decrease Okay, and then we are going to keep repeating that. So four single crochet, one, two, three, four, and then decrease. Okay, so keep repeating that all the way round. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next three rows, which is from row 12 until row 14, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 30 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the 14th row so that we do the 15th row together. Okay, so after our 14th row, uh, this is how our body should look like. So now in our 15th row, we're going to do three single crochet, then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, and then decrease. And then we're going to keep repeating that. So three single crochet. and decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh in the next two rows which is row 16 and 17 we're going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 24 stitches okay but before we do the two rows we're going to change into the uh, gray or the black yarn okay so i'm just going to tie my uh, gray yarn over here okay and then make sure the knot is on the inside okay and then after that so in the next two rows which is 16 and 17 do single crochet all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh with the 17th row in our 18th row we're going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet and then decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so after you're done with that so in our 19th and 20th row which are the last two rows we're going to do single crochet in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row so after you're done with the row 20 you're going to cut off your yarn and leave it long enough for sewing okay and then after that i'll show you how to make the arms Okay, so now for the arms, we're going to start with, the, with six single crochets into the magic ring. So I already did that. So now in our second row, we're going to increase all the stitches around for a total of 12 stitches in the second row. So we're going to increase. And then we're going to keep increasing all the way around. Okay, so continue increasing all the way. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next two rows, which is row three and row four, you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 12 stitches in each row. So I'll see you when you're done with the fourth row, so that we start the fifth row together. Okay, so after that, now in our fifth row, we are going to start by doing three single crochets first. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, and three. And then after that, we're going to decrease three times. Okay, so we're going to decrease the first time. And then decrease 
the second time. And then you're going to decrease one more time. Okay, and then after that, you're going to do single crochet in the remaining three stitches. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, and single crochet. Okay, so now we have a total of nine stitches. So after we're done with that, uh, in the next eight rows, which is from row six until row 13, which is the last row, we're going to do single crochet in every row for a total of nine stitches in each row. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like once you're done. So make sure you start first before you continue here at the end. So start the bottom first. And then after that, you're going to continue for the next eight rows. After that, you're going to cut your yarn and leave it long enough for sewing. Okay, so after you're done with that, we're going to start making the legs. Okay, so now we're going to start making the legs. And for the leg, we're going to start with the magic ring and then eight single crochets into the magic ring. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight okay and then i'm going to pull my yarn okay so after that uh in the second row we are going to increase all the way around for a total of 16 stitches okay so i'm going to go in the next uh, stitch and do two single crochets Okay, and then I'm going to continue increasing. So increase and increase in the next stitch two. Okay, so continue increasing all the way round. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next three rows, which is from row three until row five, you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 16 stitches in each row okay so do the next three rows and then I'll, sh I'll see you in the sixth row okay so now for our sixth row we're going to start first by doing four single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four okay and then after four single crochets we are going to decrease four times so we're going to decrease the first time okay so decrease the second time okay then you're going to decrease the third time and decrease the fourth time which is the last time Okay, and then after that, in the remaining four stitches, we're going to do single crochet all around. So we're going to do single crochet, single crochet until the end. Okay, so now we have a total of 12 stitches. So after we are done with that, in the next seven rows, which is the remaining part of the leg, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 12 stitches in each row so from row 7 which is the next row until row 13 do single crochet all the way around and when you're done you're going to have something that looks like this so as you can see i did all the remaining rows and then when you're done with the 13th row in the 14th row which is the last row you're going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches okay so that's quite easy to do so i hope you can do that in the last row just decrease all the way around and then cut your yarn and leave uh yarn long enough for sewing 
and then after that i'll show you how to make the ears okay so for the ears we are going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five and six okay and then after that in our second row we're going to increase all the way around in every stitch for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch and then we're going to continue increasing in all the other stitches so increase okay so you're going to increase all the way round okay so after you're done with that uh in the next three rows which is from row three until row five you're going to do single crochet all the way round in every row for a total of 12 stitches in each row okay so when you're done uh with row five which is the last row you're going to cut your yarn and leave yarn long enough for sewing Okay, and this is how your ear should look like. So when we are sewing it on top, we are going to sew it like that. We're going to fold it into two like that. Okay, so after you're done with that, I'll show you how to make the eye patches. Okay, so now for the eyes, we're going to start with a chain four. So we're going to do chain one, two, three and four okay and then after that we're going to start with the second chain from the hook and we are going to do single crochet in the next chain so one single crochet and then single crochet also in the next chain so single crochet and then we're going in the last chain we're going to do three single crochet in the same chain so we're going to do so single crochet one and then another single crochet two in the same chain and one more single crochet three in the same chain then after you're done in we have two chains remaining on this other side okay so in the next chain we are going to do single crochet and then in the last chain we are going to increase so we're going to do two single crochet in the same chain okay so after that I'm going to put my marker over here so now we have a total of eight stitches in the first row so in the second row we're going to start by increasing so we're going to increase the first stitch and then we're going to do single crochet in the next stitch okay and then we're going to increase in the next stitch okay and then increase also in the next and we are going also to increase one more time so increase again okay and then the next stitch we're going to do single crochet and then remain in the remaining two stitches we are going to increase in each stitch so we're going to increase in the next stitch and also increase in the last stitch okay so after we are done with that that's the, uh, that's the last part of the eye so I'm just going to cut off my yarn Okay, and then I'm going to pull through 
and then I'm going to go in the next stitch and pull through my yarn like that and then I'm going to pull it one more time like that okay so once we are done with that uh, now we're going to join all the parts together okay so guys as you can see I've already finished attaching all the body parts together okay so first I attached the arms to the body so for the arms you attach at the very top of the body and then after that I attached the head and for the head you make sure like the end part the most end part is uh, aligns with the also the end part of the body okay and then after that I attached the eyes so for the eyes you can just attach them using the pins until you're satisfied with uh, where they are in my case I attach them from the one two three the third row of the white yarn from the nose okay and then also the same with the other side and also for the eye for the ears for the ears I make sure they also aligned with the hands and the legs too okay same case with this other side okay so for the legs I attach them in the one two three four five six in the sixth row from the bottom so that's where I attach them as you can see they can move up and down and all that so if you have any trouble attaching all the parts together you can ask in the comments below or if you have any questions about the pattern please ask in the comments below so I hope you enjoyed this very cute pattern and very easy pattern if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and check out my other videos until next time bye